It's March 7th, 2016, and if you like to torrent with your Mac, you need to know that your computer has finally been successfully targeted by an advanced piece of malware. Up until now, Apple has managed to keep Mac owner systems safe, but researchers have discovered a piece of ransomware that has been spreading itself around through torrent client transmission. So if you've been availing yourself of the vast seas of pirated content, because let's face it, that's what most folks use torrents for, then you may be at risk. Specifically, if you downloaded transmission between March 4th and 5th, you're probably infected. Transmission recommends that you head to its official site and download the latest version to make sure you're not running an infected piece of software. The folks that discovered it have called it Key Ranger, and it essentially encrypts all the data on your computer and then makes it impossible to access until you send one Bitcoin, which is about 400 bucks, to have it released. The researchers who found it say the malware is still under development and appears to be preparing to take Time Machine backup data hostage too, so victims would have little to no recourse. Apparently, the software was signed with an official Mac app certificate, and that's how it got through. Now that a Mac has been successfully targeted, will Apple crack down and prevent others from following suit, or will the vulnerability be exploited again? We'll know soon enough. Brace yourself, folks. People, the contentious app that's been called Yelp for People, has officially launched. Don't worry, though, it's not as bad as it might sound. Not right away, anyway. When news of the app broke back in October, people got nervous. After all, in an age where what's said about someone online could potentially destroy their life, why in the world would we want a platform that makes it easier? Perhaps in response to widespread concern, the Canadian pair that created the app made some significant changes, not the least of which is that individuals have to be registered users to get rated in the first place, and they have to approve reviews before they'll be posted. Users can also hide their reviews, but, and it's a big but, a paid tier might allow someone to see all reviews, positive and negative, whether they were posted publicly or not. People provide some anecdotal examples that paint the creator's honest intentions, but we all know that if such a truth license could be purchased, it could be damaging to a person's reputation. I'm sorry, this just sounds like a terrible idea. Managing an online reputation is already hard enough, and this app could make it a lot harder. What do you think? The comment section is right down there. I think that's enough disconcerting news for one day. Let's hope for a slightly more uplifting day tomorrow, right? As always, if you like what we're doing, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that is it for DT Daily. We'll see you again tomorrow.